Yeah, I bought all these guys' albums from 80 to 87 when the Joshua Tree came out. Of course, this song, I still haven't found what I'm looking for, came from that magnificent, rich, dense album in 87 when they were fully accomplished. Man, these guys were at the top of their game. And yeah, I know they weren't all from Dublin, but I think The Edge was from England, wasn't he? Manchester or someplace, something like that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I call them the Dublin boys. Uh, this is a magnificent song. I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Boy, doesn't that describe all of us at one point in our life? Maybe many points in our life. I can't believe I've only done one reaction to these guys, um, with or without you. And I'll do a lot more. But anyway, I just want to jump in. This is the official video from 1987. So let's just jump in and go. All their music is just so mesmerizing. And the guitar, I mean, the edge is just stupid good.
Bono is unstoppable, isn't he? I just love that guy, man. He's just, he's so charismatic. He's so much fun, so positive, uh, so playful. This video is just amazing. It's one of my favorite videos of all time because it actually shows the guys. And, you know, they're roaming the streets. I still haven't found what I'm looking for, but, you know, I'm going to kiss me a beautiful woman. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kiss a black guy on the cheek because I love everybody. And one day, I guess when we're all in heaven, well, the colors will all bleed into one. And maybe we'll find true permanent love, you know? Still haven't found what I'm looking for, but maybe I'll find it one day because that's really what comes across in this. And it's just the musicality and vocals, the lyrics, everything on this is just simply divine. Um, Bono, as always, just puts so much emotion and affection into his lyrics that come out in his charisma as well, his performance. I love how he just kind of leans always, even on stage. It's almost like he's going to fall, but he's letting every, all the muscles go because he's just completely fluid with the feelings of his emotions. You know, it just really comes across. I've always loved that about his performance. And The Edge is just amazing. I mean, not just the refrains he comes up with, but the little solos that I mean, I just, I've always loved a slide guitar, and he really has that sort of electric slide guitar feel. Um, in that sense, like, probably the best, or one, definitely one of the best. But the bass and drums on this are amazing also. That bass refrain going through this just rumbles through your soul. It's fantastic, and the drums as well are great. Um, it's just the way it's all put together, and as I said during this, the groove. I mean, you just... You're just rocking along with it. And then they hit you with the lyrics, the vocals, and then and then the edge hits you, and then the, the, the drums keep you going, and the bass comes in and thumps you. It's just so well put together. This whole album is so well put together. Uh, just fantastic. Um, and it's, it's so great to see a video that doesn't compromise the... the the actual song itself. I mean, he's on top of the car looking in the windows, talking with people. He's so gregarious. And you know, that's what life's all about, right? I mean, besides doing your work, it's about people. It's about connecting with people. And you really get that from this song. Just love it. It's so positive and optimistic and yet so edgy, so well done, so deep. Yeah. Anyway. All right. That's you too. I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Y'all let me know what you think. I'll catch you soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye now.